I've always had um, a really good support system and been blessed in that. Yeah, I started art as a little kid, of course, like most people do, and my mom really put anything into my hands that she'd allow, so. I don't think I had a direction back then. I definitely didn't, and it was just whatever was in. I remember I had like a tote, a blue tote from Walmart that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that was just full of crafts and junks and all kinds of things like that. And we go to the store and get like little packets and, but she would just, she would let me play and I think it was a way to keep me busy, <laughs> which was great. I, mainly right now I produce watercolor and I started with ceramics actually in college that was my main thing and a little bit of sculpture and then I started doing watercolor I was very blessed with um, some colleagues and then I started doing watercolor a lot when I started teaching at the high school so that was really a huge blessing because I fell in love with it and I stuck with it so that's kind of what I'm doing I like watercoloring on fabric and paper and then I also like I like a lot of little craft things so I've been making earrings for about five years so that's kind of fun do you have any themes that kind of show throughout your artwork? Thematically, I would say either nature or non-objective work, which is no objects. I really like just playing with shapes and colors and lines and those basic art elements, but nature has also found its way, so um, I like to pop in realism every once in a while. One of my favorite pieces I've made in the past few years, it actually looks something like this, but it was on a hoop, and so it's just um, watercolor, and it's of a view, it's very, like, Wyoming. Um, but these realist, this one's obviously not finished, but these realistic works that I've been making as commissions have been, like, those are, like, prize pieces that I'm like, I never really knew that I could make that. And so that satisfaction has been probably why I would say those are my favorite works that I've made. What kind of things inspire you? Oh my goodness. Um, people, landscapes, plants. I really love plants. So and looking you know, on, on a microscopic level is really exciting for me, especially with non-objective work because I can pull in those lines and those shapes and things like that and then just weave those in intricately. I want to keep experimenting. Um, I'm definitely not closed off to new things. Um, if it were my choice, I would say I'd like to get back into ceramics, but it hasn't felt like the right time. So I've kind of been sticking with more um, small works. There are these voices that say, you know, like this isn't good enough, or why would I put this out on social media and stuff like that. So I would say if you're trying to make work, remember that it started because it's for you and it's not for somebody else it's about you know like art therapy and it's about just creating because we're humans and that's what we were made to do whether whether it's an artwork or a pie or anything like that so just keep making for you